Welcome to Life Group Leadership. The 70-30 rule will make you a great leader. But always remember, leadership is not easy. If it was easy, everyone would be doing it. Welcome to Life Group Leadership. I have uh, four tips to share with you on being a successful leader. Number one, leadership is not easy. If people are following you, it's because you're doing something right, especially when it comes to righteousness and in life groups. It, leadership takes effort, it takes intention, it takes energy, and it takes your time. It is self-sacrificing. You'll do your preparing on your own. You may be praying on your own. You may feel like as a leader, you're on your own. But remember, you always have your lead pastors, assistant pastors, people that are over you that you can text with any situation or you can have them visit your team. But always remember, leadership is not easy. If it was easy, everyone would be doing it. Number two, make sure that you begin a constant dialogue with the Holy Spirit. Whenever I wake up in the morning or go to bed at night, I'm laying there, especially if you battle a little insomnia, practice the Lord's Prayer and say it out loud. Say it to yourself. Pray over your children. Pray over your small group. Um, pray over your life group. Have the Word of God on your lips. It's going to be another level of spirituality if you are going to lead people. So cover yourself. Memorize Scripture. Make sure your atmosphere, wherever you are, your office, your home, your car, that you have the right inspirational music on to keep you encouraged. Number three, um, you can't take people where you've never been. If you're going to lead people to a healthier life, you got to get healthier. If you're going to lead people to a more discipline, disciplined life, you have to be more disciplined. If you're going to leave people to a happier life, you've got to find the joy of the Lord. If you're going to lead people to spirituality, you have to go before them. That's why you're called a leader. You're not a travel agent. You're not going to be handing them information and telling them, go for it. They're going to follow you. Paul even said, mimic me. The Greek word is mimetei, or follow me while I follow Christ. It's the best way. To follow Jesus is to follow someone who's following Jesus and doing it right. Number four, I call this the 70-30 rule. This only applies to, small, to life groups, small group ministry. The 70-30 rule is this, and I know it's hard to grasp this at first, but you'll get there eventually. You do not do all the talking. Small groups are set up to set up a setting, whether it's a story or a comment or set up a scripture, and then for you to stop talking and for you to go around the circle, around the room and say, what did that mean to you? Do you understand what that's saying? Um, what did you get out of that scripture? And let people start to take it, talk about it, Give them time to even pause. Don't be nervous with silence. Some people need time to process. So if they're thinking, let them think. Say, so you take your time and think. We're not in a hurry. And it's better to take your time and get people to share that want to share. Don't make people talk if they don't want to, but get the group talking. A real good life group leader after a few sessions will say, it is true. I finally got to the place where I did 30% of the instruction and they did 70% of the talking. That's what we call the 70-30 rule will make you a great leader. 